Hey, y'all, and thank y'all. Yeah, we're going to fry up some chicken. That's what we're going to do. I hope y'all doing okay. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get this going. We're going to work on chicken fried chicken sandwiches, to be exact. Now, first thing first, we're going to lay out this bacon so we can get to baking it, right? We're going to put this bacon in the oven at 375 degrees on convection, about 12 to 15 minutes. Now, when you get your chicken, make sure you check your chicken thoroughly. Make sure you rinse it, check it for bone. Make sure you check it for extra fat that you don't want. Then your butterfly. Make you cutlets because this chicken goes a long way. You know, these chicken breasts can be real thick. So you can feed multiple people with that. Then you go for your better than bouillon or your chicken base. Chicken base is phenomenal. Roasted garlic herb seasoning, Tony Saturi, or whatever flavors you like. Now, when you get to that chicken base, you make sure you put it in first. That's why it's called base. But when you do, know that it is thick. You can't rub it in like no lotion, no oil. No Vaseline, you got to rub it in like salve. Make sure it gets in there and it's touching every piece of chicken. So you got to rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. Then you add your seasonings on in there. Get your seasonings, whatever flavors you like, add that in there. But this is a key ingredient, pickle juice. You let that chicken sit in the pickle juice for about a good five, 10 minutes. Add your eggs into the wash and you get it going. Mix your eggs up good. Then you work on your dry ingredients, your flour, your panko bread, crumbs, whatever seasons you want. I threw a garlic parmesan in there. Then you bread it up. Bread it up real good. Make sure you don't have any of the meat showing. You want nothing but bread and showing. Then when you put it into that fryer, you make sure you lay it away from you. Make sure you lay it away from you, okay, so you don't burn yourself. Now, we're par-frying this chicken. We're not finishing it in the pan. We're finishing it in the oven. All right. So this is how it looks after it's par fried. All right. So we have a par fried and then we're going to throw it in the oven. Take a look for yourself. All right, now we're pulling the bacon out the oven and we're getting ready to throw the chicken in the oven. And we're gonna start working on our sandwich spread. We got ranch, mayo, mustard, Tony Saturi, some Kinder's garlic, wood fire seasoning. And we're working on a sandwich spread, right? And what bread we gonna use? We're gonna use Texas toast. And we're gonna put that thing on the griddle. We're gonna rub that butter in there and we're gonna put it on the griddle. Yes, we are. We're going to line it up, and we're going to do what we do. The chicken is ready now. While we did all that, we pulled the chicken out the oven. It gives you a chance to multitask when you finish it in the oven. Take a look at that finished chicken. It looked like we par-fried it, and it didn't get any darker. No, it doesn't, because when you do it that way, it retains its color. And these sandwiches I'm making you too, they for you. Because I know you're not with me, so I'm making these sandwiches to go. And they are all for you, right? Mm-hmm. So let's go ahead and get this onion cut up. When you hold a knife, don't hold it that way. Thumb there, index finger there, and then we get to working. Yep. Now, make sure that you... Watch your fingers. You see how my fingers are folded in? Fold those fingers in. You want to make sure you're not cutting yourself. Take your time. Now, get that butter in that cast iron. That cast iron hot. Now, this is the same butter, so I use the rest of the butter. That's why I threw the parchment paper in there from the butter because it's not going to burn. Now, we're throwing these portobello mushrooms in there now on high heat. And I'm reducing it, reducing it, reducing it. This video was sped up as well. So I added water inside of that as the butter reduced. We're going to add our flavor agents inside of that too. Mm -hmm. The reason I added water in there is because I don't want it to burn, but I do need that to continue cook, and it will caramelize these mushrooms. And I want to soften them up. That's why they go in before the onions go in. Because if I throw the onions in first, the onions will turn into mush. We don't want that. I want caramelized onions and caramelized portobello mushrooms. That's why the mushrooms go in first for about a good five minutes. And then I threw the onions in. And I kept this on high heat for about two minutes after I threw in the onions. Now, I did add water into this dish after I threw the onions in too, and I reduced the heat. See how much I paid for those mushrooms? 
Now this is a reference point. Two slices of cheddar cheese for that one piece of chicken. And that's a cutlet now. Remember, that's not the entire chicken breast. We butterflied that. Drop that bacon, drop that bacon, drop, ooh, drop those portobello mushrooms. Take a look, and onions. This is the sandwich you just made. A chicken fried chicken sandwich. Now think about if you pack that to go for somebody on the road. Now I remember my grandma and my mama used to do that all the time. My aunties, my wife's aunts, family members and friends, we look out for each other. Make sure you look out for your family members and friends too. They love you. You love them. If you don't, then you know, hey, look out for somebody else. You know how it goes. I ain't in your business like that. Let's just look at the food. I want to say thank y'all. And be sure to subscribe. I'll be around. Nothing. Nothing.